Hi and welcome to our Bool tutorial. Um, today we'll show you how you can fractalize um, different things. So we have um, taken three different um, objects here from the uh, from the bridge, Quixel bridge, and um, so we have like a wall pillar thing and a statue and a tree stump. So let's go into, um, you can use any fractal you want. Um, I'm going to pick one, uh, the first one from uh, Essence and let's start with the um, Uber bulb that's um, like pretty, has pretty organic shapes and so on. So that can be very, very useful for this. Um, you can of course change the uh, parameters uh, as much as you want. Um, to make it into a mesh, you want to go into the Houdini folder and the indie version if you have that or the other one if you have the paid version so drag that in and it will take a few seconds to initialize and um, yeah you can center it and um, if you want you, you you can have like take pretty much any shape of the fractal you want so you can play with the um, parameters here see there's all sorts of insane possibilities um, with these guys here. Um, for now, let's just um, use the uh, default value. So now we're going to tell Houdini what area of the fractal that um, we want it to mesh. So you want to drag in a cube and make it a child of the um, of the um, Uberbulb Houdini file. And we're just going to cover um, the whole thing here. Uh, now you want to tell Houdini what object you're using. So you want to go to the start selection, select the cube and use current selection. And then it will start cooking a little bit. It takes a little time. There we go. And now you are ready to bake it. Fortunately, we can speed everything up here. This things takes quite a while so um, be prepared to wait wait several minutes depending on your settings of course it can take anything from a few seconds to uh, several minutes um, half an hour even if you go um, hardcore so okay cool we um, now have this cool uber bulb uh, mesh and that's um, ready to be used in a really really cool way um, Let's make another one. So we have two different objects we can use. So we um, picked one from um, from Mecha this time. The Übermenge was like a very um, it's very, very kind of architectural hard surfaced um, fractal. So that's also good for yeah, obviously um, hard surface modeling. Um, again, you can use any. Uh, combination you want you can even smooth it out if you want it to be a little bit more organic twist it around here this is so cool so um, again but for this we will use the um, default settings because that's pretty much perfect because for the things I want to show you in a second so as before we want to place a cube and make it a child of the um, of the um, Houdini actor and we're going to center it and again we'll need the cube there to to cover the um, the area we want you can take that if you just want the corner for example you can take that um, but for now we will take the um, the whole thing again so let's get that going and we will tell Houdini again since this is a new fractal okay use this cube select and use current and cooking. Let's see what you've got. Bake it. And we're ready. So now what a beauty that is, huh? Come on. Okay, let's clean this up a bit. <clears throat> so now we're about ready to do the magic here. So let's start with the with um, the pillar thing. So you want to go into your um, modeling mode in Unreal. If you don't see it, then make sure to to uh, to activate it in your project settings. 
So I think first we will um, UV map these. Um, that's also good if you want to use them for um, anything other thing than than uh, bool. If you need to, you know, texture and then give it a um, UV good UV map first. Um, I found that the uh, projection, the box projection works well. It also takes a long time. So, but again, we're lucky that we can speed things up here. So let's just get this going. So just auto UV it and no, oh, sorry, go to your the uh, project UV and select the box on the projection type. And then they will think a little and you can accept. There we go. So now that we have these ready, let's make a copy of one of them and place it. I see it's nice to, there's so many possibilities with this. So um, I'll play around a little bit here and find what I think could be a cool spot. See here something that could cover it. And then you want to select the, the pillar two, and then you want again go into modeling mode and go find the poly model and mesh pool and press it Ooh, again think a little bit and th there's like different versions you can do difference a b difference b a um, and they obviously of course all give a different um, result this is the one i really like for this one to start with so let's accept it you see that already looks insane um, then you can take the texture from the uh, original and you just uh, copy paste it onto the pooled area and there we go, come on. That is just, that's too cool. Okay, let's take that a little bit further. Let's play around with this a little bit more. Let me go a little bit heavier in the fractalization. Make this a bit bigger. Let's find a nice spot. Somewhere around there. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty forgiving. Pretty much anything you do with these things looks absolutely amazing. And so much detail in there. So I think maybe something like this could work. So let's give that a go. Again, press mesh pool. And let's try the intersection for this one. And there we go. I mean, isn't that cool? Let's accept that. Love it. Again, take the original texture and apply it to the bold area. And there we go. So, okay, that was the pillar wall. So let's get rid of this one here, a little bit out of frame, if it'll let me. Uh, come on. Okay. Let's move on. Let's take the Uber bulb and then see what we can do. And I try to do something maybe um, on her face. So let's try to find a good position for something cool here. So we need it to stick outside a little bit or we won't be able to see it. At least not in the way we want it now. Let's see how this will work. And change it again from the intersection to difference A, B, and there we go, look at that. It's like a claw scratch, scratch on the right side, or left side on her face. That looks insane, big hole in the eye. That's amazing. So 
so for this oh yeah you can of course take any um, surface you might have or you want just um, apply it to the pooled area so that's very very easy to to um, to use now let's try a little bit more with the statue so grab another one of these here the cool uber bulb which is so good for pretty much anything that you want to um, fractalize or just like a a bull thing whatever you want it has so many different shapes and, and nice things it's insane so for the tree here um I think we can probably make it look like some like almost like it's been struck by l by lightning or something. So let's try to see if we can get the um, shapes go kind of follow the the um, original. So I'll rotate it here. Now we just need to find a, a nice position. Let's see. We want uh, we want a lot of it to be to be affected then we can maybe a little bit bigger let's see yeah i'm getting close i think let's see seems to be pretty cool so select a tree stump again go into mesh pool this is also insane that also looks amazing look at that yes but that is for this one. It's not what we want right now. Let's try this. And there we go. Look at that. That is just insane. That's awesome. Look at so much detail. I mean, try to do that manually on any other way would be really hard. Uh, did miss one thing though. The, the um, rotation was wrong. I did. So let's try another. 90 degrees and see how that will do again select tree stump poly model mesh pool and there we go see that's it and then it kind of follow the the shapes of the trees already and see maybe we can get it a little bit better let's try something like that it's pretty perfect to me. Let's accept. And there we go. And again, texture, copy, paste. There we go. That is a beautiful tree stump. I mean, look at all the details we have. Really cool stuff. So let's try a little bit one more here for the um, statue. As so we can get that looking much cooler. Let's try another Uber bulb and see if we can affect the this part here some more. Get it into position. You probably yeah, and a little bit up here. And just take the shoulder and the chest. Somewhere around there looks pretty good. Let's go again. Select both. And there we go. <laughs> That's just nuts. Totally cool. See, maybe we can... A little bit. Let's go even crazier. That's awesome. Again, for the last time, copy the texture, select it in your content and paste. There we go. I mean, is that amazing or what? We love this feature. So you can pretty much fractalize anything you want, really. You need a, a mesh and that's it. And then you can take any any of our fractals, make a mesh out of them, and there you go. Awesome. 
Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. We will be back soon. Take care. Later.